Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome back to my studio. I am so thrilled that you're here with me today to do a little what I've been making um, and a little sharing, a little chit chat. So before I get going, I want to apologize for not having a video on Friday and Monday. It's because we could not get my video to load. Um, I don't know what's going on with YouTube. At first we thought it was us, but I don't think so because everybody I've talked to is having issues as well. Well, and we finally, finally got it loaded late yesterday, day before yesterday, my last video, not this one. I don't know when this is going to go up because who knows if this one's going to be difficult. But the last video that I had for you, which ended up being on Tuesday instead of Monday, because it wouldn't load. It just, it would, it would uh, process but it wouldn't load or vice versa. I don't know. We just couldn't get it to get on the internet. So anyway, finally got that one up. So you guys have got to watch it. Now I have another one for you. This is the very last one in the series of the Ooh La La Vintage Treasures La Parisienne Fashion Boutique. So here we are. This is the big portfolio we've been working on. And so I thought I would sit down and go over everything with you and show you. I won't do like a ton of detail because that can be boring but I'll just let you know what's in it and then how it ended up so here she is she is a big girl she has that lovely um that I showed you in my last video button card on it and then here is my cover um and you know she is big she's I believe she's 12 inches yeah, she's a full 12 inches tall, so she is kind of difficult. But you could see uh, what we have here. Isn't that beautiful? And this is the back, which we'll go over all of this. But just so you could kind of see. She's lovely. Lots of pearls, lots of pretties, lots of lots and lots of lace. Lots of lace, you know. All vintage and all the vintage goodies that go with it, you know. So, um, and I have it tied up right now with some um, seam binding, the crinkly seam binding tape. Um, and I don't know if I'm gonna keep that or not, so we'll see. But, so here she is. And then this is the company piece that's gonna go with it. And this is gonna be my gift to whoever purchases this um, portfolio. We'll get this as well. So, and um, I do have a video where I showed all that, so I'm not going to go over that again, but I just want to show you that that is something that that person will get. I'm going to try to stay in, in screen, but this is going to be a toughie, so I may have to stand up and sit down about 20 times. So this, I needed to keep it tied because, oh boy, I'm thinking about instead of that tying with sorry silk. So we'll see what that looks like after. And I just had it wrapped around, and um, this is an, um, a journaling card that I added for the front to get a, to get a lady on the front. And it has got vintage um, applique on her, and then, you know, she's on cardstock, so isn't she lovely? So she's just sitting right at the door of the boutique. She is about to enter the boutique, and the fashion boutique, and so here she is. Here is the door to our boutique. I put a little door handle here. We have a little sign at the top, and we're going to open, pull back the lace, and we're going to open the door, and here we are with all the other ladies who are shopping in the boutique, getting their gowns made. We have a bride. We have some ladies going to a picnic. We have some other ladies who are heading out to the same party, and then we have some ladies in their walking dresses, their afternoon and evening dresses. So um, we have a good a good selection. Now, I had planned something different for this. Actually put it on, got it done, hated it, ripped it all off, and redid it. So this was not my original plan. I had something else planned, but it didn't work out. So here you see we're in the boutique. Here's all of our lovely ladies. And they're going to be shown around by the seamstress and given... Um, shown all kinds of samples and other gowns and it's going to be fun so here we go we're going to go shopping in our boutique so we're going to close the door to the boutique behind us so we don't let a draft in and we're going to go in and here we are so we have the sewing room where the gowns are made and um we have other ladies coming in and we we're looking at samples and things that they can choose from and pearls and lace and all the goodies and things that can go on to their gowns, from their evening gowns to their day gowns. So, and you know, here she is shopping in the shop. So there we are. So um, you guys saw a lot of this already. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail. 
but I did want to show it to you all done. I have bits of applique everywhere. These are all vintage. And um, laces, we have pockets, and in these pockets, we've got um, uh, um, examples of different gowns that she could choose. She can go to Tiffany's to get her matching jewelry, to have something made to go with her gown. So she gets a business card, and then she can choose buttons and laces, and she can choose from fancy to... Um, if she would rather have a cameo, maybe on a necklace or as buttons. So these are all the button cards or sample cards. And um, then we have this lovely pocket. And with it, we have all these beautiful bits and pieces in it. The shop is in Paris. Talks about antiques and collectibles. There is always something to be thankful for. Here are some more choices for gowns, some more gown choices. So while she's in the shop, she can pick out some of the things that maybe she would like to have or to wear. I don't know how I just had that in there. I had it in there. It was so perfect. <laughs> all right, let me just... So this is a journaling tag, and every one of these pieces can be written on. They all, they're all backed. They're all plain so that you can write on them. Maybe measurements or notes. And then we have... I didn't do anything to these cards. I decided to leave them plain. This one's already decorated. We, I showed you that in a video. I get that back in there. I may have to do some, you know, things get stuck because I've got so much in here now on the front that it's like not wanting to go back. There we go. And then you guys have seen this one in a video. I know you saw this. If you didn't see any of these things or want to see how I made any of them, I do have videos on most of these things. There are close-ups also on Instagram. You can see there's the Eiffel Tower again. We're in Paris. And we're going to put back all these lovely tags and cards and things. And then um, we've got this one. Uh, I was working on this the other day, Le Boutique Vintage, which is a vintage boutique, I think, quality artisan luxury. And we have some journaling tags. This one's warranted by the court, meaning there it's approved. I've got that to write on. That goes in this little pocket up here. There's pockets everywhere here. Here's another pocket. It's not pretty vintage. These are some of my stamps. As you can see, I've stamped on bits and pieces all the way through. There are quite a few pockets here. And then there should be one more here another journaling these are all journaling cards that can be journaled on if you want to or this is really more of a lookbook thing but you could write on it if you want to make notes maybe you want to keep this for some fashion things or memories or samples of things that you have make it a sample book it's not gorgeous or it's just something you keep on your shelf because you think it's pretty now we have these this is the paris modis and there's another gown that could be chosen I use a number of kits on the Ulala Vintage Treasures. I do have a link to the shop and a list of the kits I used in the description box. And then here is another large tag. And it has a lace pocket. And then it's got a couple of another gown choice. Corsets. Of course, you need the undergarments to go under the big, beautiful dresses that they wear so that everything fits correctly. And, and lots of choices there. And then, um, again, we have another beautiful Paris tag. Now, I didn't put anything in this belly band, and I may go back and add a, a little dress card in there. I think that's probably... I keep forgetting to do it. Hopefully, I remember to do it. It doesn't have to have one. Then we have another Paris Grand Hotel. Reservations for the hotel to stay at while you're getting your gown made. And then, here's another gown she could choose. These are all sample gowns that she the, the person our our young lady here we'll call her um, violet that violet could choose and oh this is for her ball gown you know she's going to choose this one right with all the laces and trims and it'll be stunning there's some lace samples vintage laces this is another picture of the shop we have a little card there and a bunch of dangles, charms, 
scissors, a hanger, and a sewing machine. And then um, I did show you all of those in the last video, so I don't want to go over that again. Let me pop these back in here. There are three or four pieces in each. Uh, there's an extra piece here because it didn't fit over here, so let me get these back in here. All right. I need to close up the shop there. All right, then we're gonna go to the back. And, well, not the complete back. You guys have seen this page a number of times, so I won't go over that. But now we're gonna go to the back back, which is right here. And um, another gown to choose from. We have this beautiful pocket that I made. Isn't it pretty? Another gown she could choose. Here's another one, yeah. And when you open it up, you've got this beautiful, um, this comes out. There, It is paper clipped on with a little goodie. And in here we have um, some more, some lingerie choices and a, a ticket to, pr to France. And then we have um, a plan. This is her, her fashion plan that the modiste seamstress wrote up for her. And there's room for notes on the back. Goes into the envelope. And then um, in where we took that out of, there is a pocket here. And we have some more, a letter and a document. This is the one saying how much she's allowed to spend at the Modis, the husband's line of credit. And so then we just tuck this back in here. I know it fits in there because I put it in there a couple of times. There we go. And then to keep it from falling out like it just did, we just stick a little paper clip in there with a little piece of lace on it. And these go back into this pocket right here. So this is a trip to the fashion boutique for Miss Violet. Isn't she beautiful? So this is our fashion portfolio. Isn't it gorgeous? Um, I really worked hard on this. It's got a lot of beautiful bits and pieces in it. Now some of these things fell out, so I've got to put them back in. There we go. All righty. So there you have it. Lots of gorgeous pieces. There's about a dozen. I'll have to go back and count, but I think there's 12 to 15 uh, pieces of ephemera inside our folio here, our fashion folio. And then we have this one that has all kinds of goodies in it, which I've showed you in and, and that is my gift to whoever purchases it. It's going to be included with this. The easiest way to close it is to kind of hold it down a little bit. And then we use the lace to close the door. And then we have Miss Violet. Violet's trip to the boutique, the fashion boutique. Oh, looks like I lost a piece of lace. I'll have to put that back on after. Um, and let's see what we think of this. This may be too long. But this was a fun, fun project. I really loved. All the ladies you see here come from my private collection, from magazines and, you know, things that I've bought. So you're not going to find them in the kit. Some of the things are in the kit, but not all of them. Most of the ladies are not. Okay, so I don't need all that. So I would cut that down, but I don't know which one I like best. Kind of like this one. Can you guys let me know? I guess I can ask the person who purchases it which would they would rather have, if they would rather have the silk or if they would rather have the, you know, the crinkled uh, bias tape or seam binding, I mean. So there you have it. There she is. There's our beautiful piece. And I'm going to take this off and fix it so it's ready for the person who gets it. I don't know how that came off there. Gosh, I don't remember it coming unstuck, stuck, but you never know, right? So I'll leave that pin there. There we have it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I am through with that project. That was my design team project for Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. I really loved, loved, loved working on it. I have no idea what's coming next or when there will be another video. Uh, there may be a little space between videos just because I've got to figure out. I'm, I have a few uh, of my challenges I need to do and... Um, things like that. So I'm really behind on all my stuff right now. So I'm going to get caught up on a few things and then um, 
I'll be back with something. I'm, I'm not sure what, um, what my next, um, I'm fixing this little goodie while I'm talking to you. I'm not sure, uh, which project I'll come back with. Uh, oh, I, I think I know you guys because there it is. We'll get that back on there after. Um, I believe what I'll be back with will be, let me grab it. I've added a bunch to it um, that I had in my stash, but I need to finish everything. Um, so I think it's going to be this one. I can't remember what the name of this one was going to be. I'll have to look at my other Sorry about all this lace. It's just a mess. <laughs> this one. I think we're going to come back with this one next. I'm not sure if I'm just going to... I'm almost done. I just have a couple little bits to do. You can see she's full already, uh, but I do need to decorate her up. She needs her laces and her trims. So I don't think I'll be doing this one on camera, but I do need to finish it up, and then I'll be back to show you what I did. Uh, so I don't know. I'm not sure what project we'll be doing next. I guess I'll just, we'll just have to wait and see. It'll be a surprise, right? So thank you for watching everyone. Um, I really appreciate it. I had a great time making this. I hope you enjoyed all the videos we did with it. And I hope you'll come back and watch again. And I'll be back as soon as I can. And keep in mind, if I'm not posting, it's just because we're having issues getting our, our videos posted. I don't know what's happening but uh, they just don't want to load on to YouTube. So, you know, we're doing the best we can. And we hope to see you all again very soon. And we love you guys. Hugs and kisses. See you soon. Bye-bye.